I'm Dave Munnings, and I'm recording this series of interviews with existing CUME crew members discussing the benefits of being part of the club. Okay, guys, so introduce yourselves. You go first. Okay, uh, I'm Tara Murphy, and I am a handler and a coach um, in agility in South Africa. Cool. Um, Katie Brown, and also do agility in SA. And have a border party, got two border parties that I run. And yeah, I'm HR for daytime job. <laughs> what well, are you in your daytime job? Hey? What did you say your daytime job was? HR, human resources. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you're not you are not working, you're not teaching agility. No. No, but Taryn, you do. I am as a hobby, but I do, uh, for my full-time job as a teacher for ch- for kids. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. And you guys, I did this. Huh? She's just a teacher, teacher, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Some people just love teaching. I'm a teacher. I'm always, so usually bossy people. I'm really bossy. I just like teaching and telling people what to do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, South, Af- <laughs> South Africa, guys, that's uh, pretty hot over there at the moment. Yeah, we um, it was sitting at what's what is what is the time now? Four o'clock was sitting at 30 degrees, and before it was about 40. Here it was saying, Yeah, yeah that's that's crazy. Degrees, so. Do you have to train your dogs uh, in the evenings when it's cooler? Yeah, yes. yeah, god, yeah, way, way too hot for the dogs. And um, so I did um, you two together because you train together most of the time, correct? Yes, yeah, so that's yeah. Why you doing. hear me in the background when Kerry's running, yeah, <laughs> I can. Oh. Videos. <laughs> I can. I, I think there's no point in me typing the answer because Taryn's just told you what to do anyway. <laughs> and I think, yes, Taryn, you tell her. It's like me being there shouting as well. <laughs> and um, you both have working spots, so you post your videos for feedback. Yes. Um, do you find that helpful having the feedback? Definitely. Even with your modules, if just not on the crew, but when you do your QME, you know, the modules, I prefer always to have the feedback because it just it helps a lot really does yeah 100 percent um feedback's been vital because i've learned things that i've never really thought of like literally the other day when you told me your award what's the 90 percent of the weed entries and 10 percent full weeds um i would never even think of doing something like that you know um so learning those little valuable insights have been invaluable Perfect. That's good. That's what I want. It's just those, just, you know, it's not going to be changing your entire handling, having the feedback, which just going to be adding in those little extra tips and stuff, you know, diff- different perspective on what you're doing, isn't it? It's good to have 100%. another eye just watching what you're doing and giving those little bits of like training, training yeah. bits that are just helpful for everyone, I think. And of- often when I'm teaching other people, I'll say, well, Dave taught me this, so I'm going <laughs> to teach you guys. Yeah, like, like, who the hell is that? Like, who the hell is that? No, they know. So how long have you both been doing agility? So I've been doing um I've been doing dog training for about uh (laughs) about twenty twenty three years that I started training my first dog, but the agility has been about twenty one years. Oh, long time. Yeah. Yeah, many ages. I'm still a baby. (laughs) <laughs> How long have you been doing it? Eight years. Eight years. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're still, I had to beg Taryn to take me on as and do training with her. She wouldn't leave me alone. She kept emailing. I've got to <laughs> Why I'm would you take her on? I've got a lab cross your pay and he's so clever. Oh, my gosh. You'll never <laughs> believe it. And I was like, oh, my word. I've got no space. No, but you, you've got to understand. I've got this most amazing dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> she gave him. <laughs> Gave him eventually. You just have to keep pestering people until they give in. I'm the same. If someone wants yeah. something, they just keep asking, keep asking. Eventually, I'm like, oh, okay, I give in to it. I think that's what I did with you to get a working spot as yeah, well. I think that's what you did as well. Yeah. Like, oh, this will shut her up. Just let her have it. <laughs> so, um, you've both, your dogs, you've got uh, litter siblings. Uh, yeah. Tell me about the two dogs that you're working on the crew. Um, so I've got um, Will to Win, yeah. so Tracy Land is breeding, uh, Extreme Forte, and she yeah. is full on extreme. Um, she she's definitely one of the fastest dogs I've handled. I mean, I have had speedy dogs, but she's just a little bit beyond anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
she, as you will know, she doesn't really like to collect and to slow down her speed. <laughs> so, yeah, so she is three years old and um, obviously you haven't had many shows because of yeah, lockdown cool. and yeah. COVID. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I've got Forte's uh, brother, Wilson Powerful Remix. <laughs> And uh, Taryn always says, be careful what you name your dogs, although Taryn did give me his name, and he is quite powerful. I mean, he's, he's a big boy, and he, he pushes through a lot of stuff. And um, he has issues with commitment, as you know, but with your help, we've definitely worked through a lot of those issues. He has improved so much on that. Yeah. Like, I watch so this now, and I can't believe it. You tease him a little bit because of, you know, when you remake something, Wiggy Wiggy. Yeah. So whenever you went through the, when the front of a jump, when you go, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. I said, <laughs> that is exactly what jump. we got. <laughs> <laughs> I her because I was like, well, you actually named him, so it's your fault. Oh, it's Taryn's fault. That's why yeah. I have to do it. He wants to do the jiggy, jiggy on the bloody yeah. spot. <laughs> oh, it's just, it was infuriating, but thank God he's got, he's improved so <laughs> Thank <much>. God. <laughs> Yeah, I was a lot there. of patience. I was, yeah, oh, you had to. I was like, when you were being so patient with him, I was like, wow, because it would have been irritating me by now. Just get on, <laughs> done. But I don't have to. I don't feel like that anymore. Watching his videos, I feel like I'm oh, nice taking stuff now. But also, you've just yeah. learned to handle him better. I think your commit your your yeah. timing has, has helped so much. Just the fact that we've taught him to commit to but your timing has improved so much as well. Yeah, knowing the dog, I you're running, isn't it? I think it's also. Um, I think both of them, they they read our bodies so much. Like verbal cues, you could yeah. probably throw them out the window. And yeah. just by us running and our hands and our bodies telling them where to go, they really do. And if you are out by a millisecond, they will bypass something or not do something just because of that. Yeah. So we really got to be careful about where our bodies, where our titties are facing. Yeah, and all of those well, titties. Oh, titties. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it that's why it's so useful having the feedback isn't it because i can say look yeah. you're pointing just that little bit off and then but it's good and you can see the difference when you when you it right they really do read your body really very well yeah. those two they're very responsive um, well they're related guys tell us tell me where you train uh what kind of equipment you've got what kind of space you've got to train in you can go first <laughs> <laughs> so we um Taryn actually started a school called Canine Active Training Academy, and that's where I started training with Taryn on a very small piece of grass. And then she got bigger spaces and bigger spaces. And then when Corona hit, we kind of had to close the school down a bit. And yeah. um, we found another ground um, in Westville in South Africa, which is a sports field that nobody was using. So we approached the guys that that run the sports. Um, the sports fields and said do you mind if we use it and they're like no problem so uh we have our own container and equipment there we we've got pretty much all the equipment that we need you know the a-frame all the contacts weaves yeah. tunnels jumps all of that and there's a little group of us that get together and train there we kind of keep it as our private training nice. um for now yeah. and we might be canine active there as well That's and cool. We do private lessons there, and then obviously I do a bit at home because I've got a little space at home as well. Little space. It is little a little space. space. <laughs> <laughs> How big? It's 20 meters by 15 meters. So I've got a little space at home where it's like <laughs> three by two. <laughs> I can put one jump up and a down ramp of a dog walk to do turns. That's my <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also very blessed with, uh, where I ran my classes beforehand um, is I actually those people have still let me use their fields on their own property and so every now and again I'll go down there and I train on my own um, yeah so yeah. But but we have her indoors it's all outside yeah all outside training only Granny Tracy has an indoor yeah yeah that's she's good. got a nice indoor yeah that's yeah. cool it's cool so you've got um, so you can do stuff at home Kerry um yeah. and little bits and that's nice it's a nice size area lots of nice fast lines you can get now you can, can you fit most of the sequences i set in there yes most of them yeah um especially you kind of do them by like 20 by 15 most yeah, of them anyway I could try and keep them a nice and yeah flowy yeah line. so those small sequences are definitely always set up at home yeah and then the, the the bigger ones then will go down to the field or if you do a full course or something or there's yeah. like the novice and the advanced courses you did yeah we had to go down to the field and set them up, set them up. i think it also helps the babies um being trained in a bigger area as opposed yeah, to a smaller area 
like to get used to that that space. Oh, they need to to get used to running at that speed. Yeah. yeah. What okay. what also is great, like over lockdown, you gave us lots of those one jump things to work on. So I was able to do that too in my my little my little small garden. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a small space. Yeah, that's like yeah. my old place. I had the tiniest little, well, just a patio basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, that that can be called a small space, not what you've got, Kerry. Yeah. No. That's a nice, that's a nice space. <laughs> But then, Karen, you got to be able to do all the one jump stuff over lockdown and yeah, all the yeah it was, which training. was really great. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. what we like to hear. Um, what do you guys like most about the crew? What would you say you like, you enjoyed most about it? I enjoy the feedback the most. I enjoy setting up the courses as bad as I am at setting it up, um, <laughs> and videoing it and and seeing how we do it. It's like, it's always a challenge. There's always a challenge. And that's yeah. what I enjoy the most. And then getting the feedback and, and working on whatever feedback you have given us to say, okay, well, this is what I need to work on yeah. and then try and do better. So, yeah. So my best has been learning the te techniques yeah. um, and you explaining your, your reasoning behind the way you handle it. Yeah. Um, that has been like really invaluable. Like really learned so much. And the reason why our bodies are this way and why we should be facing that way like titties to tunnel. Yeah. Titties to tunnel, titties to tunnel. So all those kind of, that has really, yeah. really helped. Yeah. Cool. So you find the, the explanations and the, it's quite, I try and be quite clear with it because that's how I see it in my head. You find it's quite easy to understand because I think some people get worried oh, yeah, sure. when you write stuff yeah. down that they're not going to understand what I'm saying, but you find it's easy to understand. and Yeah. Yeah. I think we understand, we understand your language, like your agility language yeah. per se, but um Sometimes you make a lot of typing errors. <laughs> so, only sometimes, not. <laughs> I know I'm not the best typer in the world. I think I and I sometimes look back and I think, no, oh, they'll get it. They'll get it. They know what I mean. <laughs> but, sometimes you have to just decipher what you're trying to say. So you get it. That makes it harder. Okay, I will try harder. <laughs> I even, I think more worries since I'm a teacher. As the uh, human resources <laughs> worry about spelling. <laughs> I mean, you need to send my work back to me and mark it and give me a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might actually start trying harder to type then. I'm always <laughs> rushing it. I'm such a bad typer. I don't even think about it. I even, sometimes I see the mistake and I think, no, oh, well, they know. They know. They understand it. No. Know, they know me by now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They know me by now. Sometimes... We're, like reading the, we're reading the instructions and it says, and, and ask for a left turn. And then we're like... I'm sure he means a right turn. Yeah, I'm sure, I but <laughs> <laughs> I do quite often. I think I think. Well, they'll know which they'll know which direction I mean. It's the obvious I direction. Think, <laughs> I think it must be harder because you're looking at the sequence, obviously on a flat yeah. piece of paper. So you're having to like put yourself there. So. I do have to think. Mm, yeah. Okay, it's that way. yeah. I do. Uh, I have noticed a few times there's been the wrong direction. Or someone's actually run the sequence. And I'm like, why are you all turning that way and like that? Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> like that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's that's the way I meant. <laughs> oh, just, well. well done you followed the instructions yeah, well done. i'm glad you went a really really difficult way because that made the sequence really nice <laughs> okay i'll try harder promise <laughs> so what yeah. um what are your aims with uh, your two dogs at the moment what what are you hoping for what are you wanting to achieve <laughs> yeah and i know that feeling oh my god we're never going to shows again so I have high, high aspirations because I've, my last two dogs have both um, done well in their champs. So my, 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 my first miniature American Shepherd, um, we won SA champs medium the one year and we won three national titles, yeah. three national titles. Um, and China last year, no, not last year, the year before, yeah, before. he got a uh, reserve SA champion. So, oh. so for me, like, oh. I, I think because I've been there and done that, yeah. I want to aim for that again. Absolutely. Um, yeah. 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 So we have qualified before with Bailey and attended SA champs. Yeah. Um, so I think I'd like to just get to that stage and maybe like win one or two rounds at SA champs with, with oh. Remix. So, um, yeah. Brilliant. What about um, do you guys um, are competing at like EOs, AWCs? Is it hard for you to go, do stuff like that? Uh, I made one year, and all the years that I've competed, I made the team once with China. It was 2016. I went to Spain with them. Yeah. Um, so did that once. 
Um, I'm not sure I would do it again purely because the cost is just crazy unbelievable. Yeah. 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 It's expensive it's, for us to, to travel overseas. Yeah. I mean, if, I think if it didn't cost us so much or if we were like super wealthy, um, we would do it in a heartbeat yeah. Yeah. and go to EO and all of that. But yeah. Money, money does restrict us a bit. Yeah, well, it's crazy expensive to travel the dogs, isn't it? Work on a, sorry, Dave. We also work on a championship system. So when you get uh, first place in a cham- championship show, you get a what we call a QC. So yeah. I think you guys get the champion certificate. Yeah. So three of those, three of those are dogs a champion. Oh, if we get 15, yeah. uh, if we get fifteen, we become a grand champion. So oh, those are also that. things we aim. We need yeah. that. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. I would love that. I want to be a grand champion. <laughs> I want to that's so much more fun because otherwise, once you once you're an agility champion, you well, keep, yeah. keep winning tickets, and they kind of they're fun to have them and say you've got a lot, but it doesn't mean you know yeah. anything yeah, more. I'm gonna put. I think I should put a thing in for the council. Oh <laughs> grand champion. Sorry, I've got dogs playing in the pool. Hang on. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Let me I don't see. know, but oh my god. Whose pool is this? Mine. Oh my god, it's so nice. So they're like proper water babies, as yeah, you can see. Yeah. Two borders down there. They won't stop. Can they just go in whenever they want. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of that pool. That is so beautiful. But it's only a small pool, like a garden. It's small. Yeah. Tiny little pool. Uh, how do you feel the crew is helping you achieve uh, the goals you're aiming for? Um, I think it has helped me because it's definitely helped me become a better handler and obviously knowing what to be able to do. And especially with the dogs that we have, they're very hard drive, very intelligent, very like intense dogs. And you've got to be on top of your game to be able to handle them. Um, you know, so it's definitely helped me be able to handle better sure. in order to get to where I needed to go. Awesome. So it's really the solution. It's like, you know, when you get stuck on something and you, you don't know where to go, you offer these solutions that we can work through to help the dogs. Like, you know, we play with her backside, slices, her knocking, and you're giving different solutions on, on what we can do to help her. And is she 100%? No. But is she better? Yes. So getting those little solutions to work through and help them. Well, absolutely. It's not uh, dog training. I always say this to people. It's not magic, is it? It's about putting in the hard work figuring out what works for that dog. Cause it's always about every dog's different, isn't it? I try and I try not to stick to exactly everything that we, that I've put up. I try and ad lib a little bit and go with like, if you're if I have a problem with a certain thing, I'll talk about that. If you have a problem with the commitment, I'll talk about that and just give you ideas to try. Cause it's always good to try yeah. different things, isn't it? And I could say, exactly, all yeah. dogs learn the same, all people learn the same as you know, you're a teacher. And um, you've got to figure out what works with that dog, don't you? And I think- yeah. That's where I try and, because I've had a lot of dogs, you know, ask Danny thinks I'm obsessed with getting dogs. So it's like an addiction. So <laughs> yeah. I've been, I think I've seen a lot of the problems that most people are going to have. Yeah. Not all. We can always yeah. learn more, yeah. always. But I think I've got a lot of experience in problem solving yeah. with different and dogs. Exactly, yeah. 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 Just try, it's really? just about giving my experience in that and just being able to, you know, it is problem solving, isn't it? With dogs, yeah. figuring out yeah. what it is. Sometimes they just really want to be there and give you like, be there and like, let's try this, let's try this, instead of typing it, yeah. waiting for you to do it and then typing it again. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's the only thing I find frustrating with online training is I'd like to just be there in person, just keep trying different things. But it's good because you understand what I'm saying. You can just go and try it, set it up, and then come back and say this was happened and this happened, and then we can maybe try something different next time. So I think it's definitely working, and the dogs are improving so much, aren't they? Both of them all the time yeah yeah they're looking great well done um so uh anything else you'd like to add about the crew join yeah join (laughs) up join the crew (laughs) sign up for yeah (laughs) no No, just that it's, it's really really it's really been invaluable i mean we've thoroughly enjoyed it um and also, what I also really like about it is that you show us, you don't show us everything that's perfect. <laughs> you know, you show us your struggles. You show us 
the naughty situations when Booster's going for the toy, <laughs> you know, and, and that's that's real because you don't want to see perfect because if you just perfect every time, it just makes us feel like shit because we can't we can't do it, you know. Yeah. So that's that's also really, really great. Cool. And I think it's the variety of stuff that you give us as well. It's not always the same thing over and over, you know, there's small sequences, then there's a full course, and there's discussions, and there's video weeks, you know. I really yeah. enjoy all the variations. Yeah, I tried to keep it like that because I didn't want just, oh, just, you know, just a sequence every week, so it's going to get boring, isn't it? So I tried to keep it as, uh, you know, it's basically just me and what I do with my training. I tried to get that across, which is just, um, you know, it keeps it interesting, doesn't it? And I like, yes. a few of the others have said they like seeing the stuff go wrong, which, you know, you're going to get that because it goes wrong, especially now I haven't got fame to look perfect with anymore. So it's, gonna, I think it's useful because I was saying, that's how I like to train as well. I like to watch people. I like to watch them problem solve and like see what they do to fix an issue rather than just like perfect, perfect, perfect all the time. So okay. I think that's definitely helpful. Awesome guys. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> say goodbye to everyone. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Dave. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.